What's up everybody, Nolan of Black Diamond Services. We are out at a commercial job uh, cleaning for Abbey Carpets. They are our small local business here in Oakdale, California, Abbey Carpet. So they have been so kind in being referring us out to their clients and now they've had us come out to take care of their their showroom. So as you can see, they got all types of flooring that they do. Of course, carpets. So we're cleaning their showroom carpet and some tile for them. And so just wanted to show you guys around what we're doing here. Adam just finished vacuuming the carpets. So we're going to get this portion rolling and then pop around the rest of it and do the tile and, and a couple other hard surfaces. So if you are in or around our area, Central California, and you need some floors installed, definitely give them a ring. And then in the future, when it needs to be cleaned, we would be happy and would love to earn your business. So we're just cleaning this floor here as well, and in the bathroom, and keeping their show floor up up the par for them so when their clients come through um, this place will be in nice and beautiful order so that's what we've got going on today just wanted to show you guys that like I said Abbey Carpet Oakdale California there's the phone number if you need it again but uh, yeah they had uh, been referring us out and in about a two-week period I had five or six phone calls come through um, asking, you know, for carpet cleaning. And I was like, okay, I need to go and say thank you to these, these people because I hadn't really met them in person and we're a local company, they're a local company. So they like the idea of working together with another local company that's family owned. And so I was like, I got to go check these guys out and say thank you. So I dropped off some some cleaner bottles, um, like spot, these spot bottles that I usually give out to new clients when I have plenty in stock um, as a thank you for even choosing us to clean for you. So I came and gave them um, six of them to give out to their clients when they have some installs. And, you know, and partly as a thank you, you know, for, for referring us so much. So the reason why I did that is well, it's a win-win. So now the client's got a brand new carpet and you know how it always happens. Something always gets spilled on something fresh that you just purchased or something happens. So um, now they have a spot cleaner that won't cause residue or anything in the carpet. It'll help them get the spot out. And then, you know, now they're covered. And then when they're ready to get it actually professionally cleaned when it's needed, they can give us a ring and so it's kind of a win-win. The client gets a little extra value out of the purchase of their new carpet. And then they have a phone number to call when it actually needs to be cleaned professionally. So that's what we're doing today. This is our last job of the day. Uh, I didn't really get a whole lot of footage of the beginning of our day. But we had one, two, three carpet jobs. So we did two residentials and then we did a commercial job and then this is our second commercial job for today so um, kind of a big day as far as how many jobs we got but otherwise a good one so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you tuning in please leave a like and a comment down below if you are new to this channel please subscribe and then also check out our list of videos if you're new there's probably at least 270 uh, different videos ranging from carpet, mostly um, tile jobs, some upholstery jobs. Um, I think that's mostly what's on the channel as of right now. Um, different tile jobs, ceramic or porcelain, and I think some natural stone jobs that we've done in the past. So there's a lot of variety on there, vacuuming, CRB, um, pre-spraying, and also rinsing and extracting as most of you are commonly know about so with my red carpet wand here it's what you mostly see in a lot of videos but i try and add in the uh 
CRB, which is a counter rotating brush, if you're unfamiliar with that tool is. And then there's some actual buffer um, job work in there um, in some of the videos. Just got to search for it a little bit on that one because I, sorry, I don't remember the number, um, the video number off the top of my head. But anyways, we're getting set up. Like I said, Adam just finished vacuuming. We're gonna start pre-spraying this bad boy and get it going, get it nice and clean. So that way, come Monday, when their clients come in, they'll be coming into a clean store, ready to pick out their new carpet or hard surface. So thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate your time watching these videos. Again, if you are in this area, please consider Abbey Carpet, super nice people. Uh, we're actually going to be using them. We have used them in the past, uh, some years ago, to do some work at our house. And we're getting ready to use them again uh, to get some new carpet installed in some bedrooms that are quite old now. So we're going to be using them ourselves. So I'm not just recommending them because we're doing work for them. I'm recommending them because we have done work with them. And we are going to again here shortly. So thanks again, guys. Guys, we are in the showroom floor of Abbey Carpet, getting their carpets cleaned up for them, doing the CRV, getting a nice good scrub. See, we got carpet samples here. like this with small businesses that stick together and can help each other out so I really appreciate Abbey Carpet of Oakdale for giving us the opportunity to earn their business and for referring us out never met them in my, before personally um, and it's the owners that I've been dealing with and they're kind enough based on what they've read and heard about us to start referring us out to their clients. And it means a lot. So that's why I came in here to thank them prior to getting this, even getting this work. And left them with some of our cleaners to give out to their clients as an added value to their service. Here's something that's trusted you know, not to void your warranty or cause residue in your carpet that you can use to get spots out. And the reason why we do give them in the first place is because we understand that you just had your carpet cleaned, you know, in some cases, if we were the ones that gave you the bottle. You know, if something spills and you're freaking out and you're like, oh, I don't want to have to pay, you know, X amount to have them come back and do another cleaning and just had them out here. So that's the purpose of those bottles is to help them get rid of a little spot. You know, it's adding value to the service, letting them take care of it instead of paying our minimum service charge to come clean it again for them when it was just done. So we find the value in that is going to come around to us more than us just saying, oh, no, we'll come back and clean it again and then charge them you know, for it, which we got to charge for our time, but this gives them a little something extra to do it themselves to save some money. That way they don't have to have the carpet cleaned uh, when it's actually needed and not having us out 
you know, sometimes I've had some people call within a week or two and say this spilled, I need you back out here to get this spot out. Because they're freaking out, you know, and it's warranted. But now they have something to try first to get the stain out while it's fresh. Which is more likely to come out when it's fresh and it hasn't dried. So now they're in a better position to do it themselves and save some money and then they'll definitely be giving us a call when they actually need it. I just feel if you're in a business and you have something that you could do to add a little value to your service, people are going to remember you a lot more and trust in your service when you offer something like that. It doesn't have to be anything costly. Just a little something extra that makes their life easier. Because I mean, that's the point of having a flooring company out or having a carpet cleaner or whatever service you offer. Because it makes somebody's life easier because they don't have time to learn how to do it or do it themselves. That's why you're there. So when I found those spotter bottles and that we could put our name on them, information so if they do need our service they can get in touch with us easily and it's just it's a win-win because also the other part of it is now I know what chemistry has been used on the carpet so when I go to clean for them I am not worrying about soap residue or a spotter that may have set that stain in, giving me less time or giving me less likely good results. Because if that spot bottle doesn't quite get it out because they maybe didn't get to it in time, if they used it, I don't really have to fuss about um, having issues. So far I've had positive results from that spotter. I had somebody comment on our Facebook saying thank you for the spot model. I got a stain out. Work for free. So that's the point of it. And now they're going to have me back out when they actually need the carpet cleaning done and not right after it was cleaned and spending more money than they need to. So right where he's at was the only spot that had any small little stains. I think they do some estimates and whatnot at this table. And there was a couple spots right in that section. But they disappeared from the pre-spray and CRB running over it. So that was really the toughest, toughest spot on the carpet. Otherwise it's just general soil from uh, their, their customers coming through. So if you're a if you're a carpet cleaner business in this anywhere really definitely highly recommend making friends with um, installers such as them because they can refer lots and lots of um, clients to you know and you guys can work together you know when the carpets need to be replaced you can refer back to them or you could do like I explained in the video earlier and give them some spotters that you use 
or sell to your clients. Just come in and give them to them and leave your business cards. And they, um, you know, start referring you out for the cleaning, the maintain them. And then you guys just work, work together and make business easy for the both of you. And they'll probably give you an opportunity to learn more about different carpets so you can better explain the cleaning process if you're unsure about certain ones. You know, you know that they clean all the same, except for wool, of course. There's, you know, some of them have different characteristics that require different cleaning, uh, cleaning chemicals to deal with them. Um, such as Berber carpets have an affinity for oils. So you use some citrus solvent to help break that down with your cleaning process, things like that. Um, you know, and if they don't know that, just because they just install them, then you'd be able to give them, the, you know, a little, little education on that, and how you can help make them look better too when they're selling carpets to clients, so they can better explain the benefits of each one of them, and they can make a better judgment on what style of carpet they want to have in their house so they'll look better and more professional if they're you know if they don't know that and then they'll look look up to you even more um, in regards to referring you out so it's a win-win they told me about a carpet here um, some carpets that are being made um, by companies that relax a lot easier after the install by that I mean even after they've stretched it into place they're finding some carpets within a year or two starting to kind of have ripples in them. And I guess the backing is just not as strong as it used to be on that type of carpet. So I guess the quality has gone down a little bit on it. Therefore, they're having people call and say, hey, the carpet is loose, what's going on? And they're having to try to explain that and it's due to the backing is just not as strong on that lower grade carpet as some higher end stuff. So they're having the issue of callbacks um, here and there with that type of carpet. So remember, guys, in in most products these days, I mean, it is a, a kind of get what you pay for thing. So if you want really high end quality, of course, the price is going to go up on the carpet, flooring, whatever it may be, and it goes goes for a lot, if not almost everything. Um, unfortunately, these days is lower price doesn't always mean better quality and better quality doesn't mean lower price um, so they've been they've showed me a couple carpets that are that they carry so they can furnish you know all different all different uh, clients needs but they also told me about that um, and it makes total sense because I've seen it quite quite often here and there um, and you can't always just look at a carpet and say oh that's low grade carpet you know, it's um, not always that simple, but maybe it is for some. But I've noticed what they showed me here that they carry as an option, that there's some that just relaxes easier and it has to be restretched in order for it to get back to normal again in a much shorter time period than the average higher end carpet so things to consider when you're buying new carpet um, personally from what I've been told by other professionals and what I've seen is a high end nylon is the, one of the easiest to clean so probably you'll get more longevity out of it but of course it is a higher dollar amount per square foot to have installed just some things to consider when you're purchasing Ultimately, you want to get what's best for you, but definitely ask questions so you can justify the cost difference. I mean, if I had it my way, of course, I'd want to be cleaning high-end nylons and other easy-to-clean carpets over anything else, but that's not going to be likely to happen ever. Everybody having the same high-end carpet but uh, once we're done with this carpet here which she's almost through just got this little section here and where we're at we're gonna be cleaning cleaning this tile here and 
then that'll be that'll be it. I mean, this carpet's cleaning up just fine, no problems. A couple stains that were right in this area right there popped out. It looks like it's a spot, but this it's just how the carpet was sitting right there, so that's nothing. But otherwise, we're moving along. Adam's getting this carpet cleaned up real good.